Okay, so now about the abstract, I think it's very simple, but don't overestimate it. I mean like, or underestimate it because uh, the abstract is super short. It's only one paragraph. It's about 150 to 100 words. It depends on the journal. Sometimes they are even shorter, like a hundred words. So it, it, it's, it's very, very short. You only have to write about seven sentences maybe, but then you have to be very careful on what you want to write. So again, it's a short version of an introduction. So imagine that in just one paragraph, you have to tell the reader what, what is known about the topic, what is wrong about the topic, what did you do and what is your contribution? So you can maybe write one or two sentences about each of these. What is already done about the topic? One or two sentences. What is wrong about this? One or two sentences. What did you do? One or two sentences. And finally, what is your contribution? So in the, in the abstract, uh, you should catch the attention of the reader, but in an academic way or kind of a conceptual way, like don't, not in a marketing way, like, I don't know, or, or poetic way, I don't know how to say it. Like you say like, is this the end of the world? Not really, because after COVID there, is, there are changes on business. It's, it doesn't work like that. It's not writing on a newspaper. It's like, um, uh, I don't know, after, uh, uh, during the COVID situation, uncertainty arose in the, in the, in the food industry, um, making business, businesses or forcing businesses to transform digitally. So uh, it uh, several things has been known about uh, digital transformation, especially about technology and investment. However, it is not really clear what happens inside of the organization if and how each individual and group reacts to these changes. That's why this paper uses a case study of two companies or two restaurants that adopted digital transformation where people reacted to control blah, blah. You, you mean like it's it's very simple but you talk about all of the issues that you previously attacked in the introduction and finally the abstract doesn't have a summary of the paper because you don't have enough space and the abstract usually doesn't have references maybe you can add one references if it's super important for your paper like for example in group two i think you should add malmi and malmi and brown in in your in your abstract because all your paper is based on that paper okay so maybe for you only that one is allowed to be on the abstract but apart from your work, I think maybe group number six should, can also include one paper, but usually abstracts doesn't have references. Abstracts, ab, an abstract is like very short, very concise, and it should be attractive for the reader. So I think that's everything. Uh, I will be on Zoom as usual. Let me know if you have a question, prepare for the class. And um, remember again, you'll have to upload everything, just keep it. And I think today we are done with the whole paper. I think we have the first final version. So uh, from here, we still have one more week to think about the uh, details and to polish a lot of things that we need to polish and to walk through uh, each part of the case. And then uh, I think, uh, next class, we're going to work on this. Then you can submit your pre-final version. I will give you some feedback and then you submit your final, final version on the 24th. I think it's 24th of November when you do your presentation and we're almost done. So uh, I'll see you then in, in the Zoom session.